All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Dr. Stewie, and today I'm going to be bringing you my first ever episode one gameplay of building Isengard. Here you can see we just loaded in Satisfactory, and we're going to take a little tour right now, just a little one. Let's bring up the copy of Isengard, or um, the tower within Isengard. I think it's called Orak. Or Orak. I'm not saying it right, but anyway, Saruman's Tower. Uh, and yeah, this is what I have so far. And today we're going to be working on it, constructing it, and this series will just showcase me building this tower. And at the end, we'll all make another video of uh, the actual finished product. So. Let's just do, again, what I said we would do is brief. Uh, that might hurt. Ugh. Okay. Brief tour and it, it, kind of where I'm at right now and what I've been doing with this and where we're going to be going from here. So, uh, last night I did my research as far as how high this thing should be. So, according to the internets, it's uh, 500 feet or... 154 meters or so uh, tall, which is to the top of that, right up there. So that's where the very last um, spike should be on the four prongs uh, of the tower. Here is where I measured uh, the circle where um, Gandalf was uh, imprisoned. That would be the top of that, and then these four would be uh, the peaks. Okay. Um, here is the second wall, just showcasing where I should put each windows and where they uh, should fall as far as uh, platings go. And yeah, then after the height, I had to figure out the width. Uh, the width, according to the internet, is about 60 meters or 64 meters or something like that. Um, and each of these um, pieces here is this is a four meter height so uh, what is it 152 divided by four is about 38 I think is math I don't know I'll have to look it up but um, that is the height there's 38 of these but now that I think of it let me look to see what these bases would be, because this is not the same. This is a different base. So what I gotta do now is see all this research that we gotta do. Um, I'm using my second computer here. Um, satisfactory foundation. So eight meters, and so was it 64? I'm thinking it was. Eight. What do we got here? Sorry, I can't see. Uh. Oh, hi. Hee hee hee. Thanks for the cheer. Um. So if we have eight, that's one, two, three, four. It should almost stop here. That's almost too thin. That wouldn't look right at all. Um, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Yeah, that would be, huh? That, that would be the inside of it then. And it wouldn't be as wide. So I wasn't thinking last night. So, gosh, is that? Maybe it is. That would make it a lot smaller if that was the case. Huh. And I don't know if I like those dimensions. Honestly. 
the height makes sense. I like how the height looks on this building, but then the width, I was looking at it last night and I looked like I had to build it out. But now that I'm looking at this, it looks like I might have to bring it in by that much. Oh, that's even one less. Yeah, I don't know. I would put it out one more at least. Probably there. But even still, that looks too thin. I kind of almost like how big this factory is right now. Hmm. And then the second thing I'm looking at on my other monitor is just an image, and I'll put this up. One, two, three, maybe four times in. One, two, three, four. So that would bring me to here at the very top. Well, we can we can maybe back it, tone it back a bit too. So you can make it really thin and narrow, or you can kind of make it a little bit, little bit fatter around. And I think I might go with that style, just because the satisfactory blocks uh, don't allow much room to play. And they really don't. But now the question is, should we be bringing it in? Like cut this back one? This whole... Ooh, do, 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 do. Maybe. Because that would be... 64, 8, 16, 24, 8, 8. Huh. Okay, let's, let's take it from here. Pull away from that. And, oh my god, this is going to be a mess. Hmm. Are we really going to shrink it? don't want to, I'm so hesitant, because I've already put all this stuff up, but I think we're just going to have to. Like this whole, everything needs to go in, by one. And if we do that, then what does this do to everything else? Take a look here. So if this is my new... New wall to work with. What's that gonna do? Just see what it looks like on this side. What I'm doing here is I'm clicking, holding control and going up. What that will do is select all of them and then you can easily just delete them all. Cute little trick. Okay, something like that. Let's take a look. See what we're doing here. See if what we're doing looks right. Okay, so brought that in. Hmm, for symmetry wise? And I also have to think when we get. Starting at the base, and then we finally get up to the top of the tower. What we could do or use... Jeez, I might... 
That really dwarfs the whole thing now. Makes it smaller, and I don't know if I want to do that. Like I was saying, another thing we've got to do and think about is when we get to the top, here's the center of my tower. When we get to the top, we can make these type of... Where are you? I thought we had different round ones. Well, maybe it's this one. So it'll kind of give you that. Oh, come on. There. Oh, okay, fine, do that. That's what I wanted anyway. Oh, that can be worked off of that. I'm hitting my middle mouse wheel just to copy that. And that. That would be a really nice top of the tower, I think. Good look, but that doesn't take... No more than four. Huh. Hmm. Because that looks nice. Or I wonder what we could do if we could make it wider by. Oh, I barely fell. Wider by one. Let's just like a regular. There we go. Something like this, this. Then you take your. Ooh, I don't know if that. That's not gonna look good at all. I can already see it. Yep, no. That's not it. Okay, that wasn't in the way, but... I'm just trying to figure out this top right now. That... see, that... It doesn't look pretty down below, but it looks okay on top. And that's a 3x3. Three three. And if we go in by 1, at least 2, maybe 3... We're gonna have to go out 3... So, one, two, three. Yeah, we're looking at a thinner, a thinner structure. Hmm. I don't know. A lot to think about. Ah, uh, one, two, three. So maybe, maybe that's my question initially, maybe it shouldn't go out any farther. And even still... Gosh, I don't know, Josh. What are you thinking? Make it thinner or make it wider? Because I also got to think when we get to the top here. Four, one, two, three, one, two, three. There. What else do we have for options for top? Um. No, 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 no. Eh. So the inverted quarter pipe might look good there. 
And if that's... Ooh. Ooh, I think we're onto something. Oh, that's the look. Oh, there we go. I like that. Yeah, this we can... This we can work with. Oh, I think this is perfect now, actually. That would be a great tower top piece. Let's take a look, see, Lou. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Okay, it's a three by three. Perfect. Okay, so if we're going, well, looking at the top of the tower, um, I see that go big. So I think this would be a good size because looking, looking, remembering back at the actual movies, Gandalf didn't have much room to play. And if you figure like a human right there, or whatever, that that's the size of the top of the tower. I'm for almost for sure. And anyway, with the way Satisfactory has their blocks, this is the top of the tower. We figured it out. Okay. Now, looking at top, we got to figure out the base. So how many more segments am I going to cut in to get to this? And so I'm going to figure that going out. Then I can figure out my base because according to my research last night, the width of this should only be 64 meters, um, which would only be eight of these foundations. And as you can see here, this is my first foundation. Two, three, four. You know, two, three, four. That's eight and eight. Even still, I'm being more generous on the other side there. Uh, if this is one, two, three, four, about there would be the start of the foundation. I, 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 I disagree. That's too thin. Um, especially for Satisfactory where we have all these machines and we're going to try to be fitting in it. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go a little bit thicker in the base. I've seen different uh, images on the web with a, a, a wider uh, based tower. So we're going to go with that. But the question is now, if this is here, I might scale it up. One, two, three, four. Four times? So here's one. So we got the four, then five. So be, let's go off this one. One, two, three, four, five. According to that, then I'd have to bring it in. Maybe. Or keep this. Just keep it because it looks good to the eye maybe and just roll with it and roll up because uh, that's as high as it's gonna go yeah, there's a lot of a lot of thinking a lot of math involved a lot of things before you just throwing up the walls because once you put up the walls I think it's gonna go fairly quick it's just figuring out all this other stuff think for satisfactory I don't know pulling it in like I did here or widening it out it almost feels like it has to go wider just because it's satisfactory right it's not going to go to truly to the, the images that I have, or, or this one particular image? Let me see if I can get another one, because this is bothering me now. Yo, yo, what up, Mel? I don't know, this... <sighs> okay, so what I'm doing again is building Isengard, and I'm debating between thin, stick-looking one that... I'm going for accuracy, but then looking at let's just say oh I don't know I want to put an assembler in I mean good luck I mean she's gonna get filled quick 
Um, like any of these machines, they're pretty, pretty big. I'd only be able to do like three. Hmm. Okay, so we got this as the new, potentially new size. Because from here I could bring it in one. Two, three. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions. Or we leave it big and we just do a one bigger than this. And it still might look fine. I know. Oh, you troll. Diablo Immortal. What's wrong with you? Um. Yeah. Gonna. We're gonna think about this. I'm gonna go bathroom. Be right back. Let me know if we should go bigger. Like the original size, this size, or one more in. The one more in is more accurate to the actual size of the tower. Be Okay. Man. I like the talk and chat. Thank you. Um, I think what we're going to do is just build it up. Like this. See how it looks. And then we could always put a layer over it. So we're going to go with accuracy or what the best we can so we're gonna go with god we gotta move those machines yeah we're gonna go we're gonna do that so actually you know what i should have done just stayed up on that tower because i can i can build everything from here and it's gonna be easier mm -hmm. okay i know so i mean this is accurate I guess to what the movies and books tell us but in game this is not the best satisfactory tower or what we could do what we could do is build this tower right now as it stands this what we think to be the accurate one build it up look at it and then we could always go one block out. Just fatten it out. That would be easy to do. Uh, if we don't like that, we can fatten it in maybe a floor or two and fix it. I think maybe that might be a way to go about this. But let me think. If I keep this style, there is no definitive... It's like we just changed our center point. I'm no longer standing on the center. It's a two by two center versus a one center so now I mean technically this is our center point Th these blocks so we're sharing uh, you know whatever and then when you get to the top with that three by three are we still gonna be able to accomplish it no we would have a smaller ring uh, made out of these things. This is what our ring would be uh, at the very top. It is a 4x4 four four versus a 3x3. Three three. You know. So if we can imagine ourselves being you know Gandalf here at the very top sipping our coffee. Could that, would this, could this work for size? Being the very very top? Yeah, you could. What if these circular ram parts around the tower are where you place the majority of production? Right. Or I could just have the majority of production yeah, on the outside of the circle because what you want is that feel of like destroying mother nature. Just you know, what what they did in the movies, they just destroyed all the trees, whatever, and they just 
outside of that ring in that courtyard, if you will, maybe that's where we're going to have all the production. That makes a lot of sense to me. And then that would feed into the tower. Because the tower would just be like your central hub, maybe some uh, storage units, things like that. And the outside is actually where we're going to be putting our machines, making it look like this big cluster because that is... That's what happened. I mean, you just destroy the Earth, and that's what we were going for. This um, idea of we're just sucking off the nutrients of the of the planet. So what that is, this is our new center with the three off there. That could work. We could maybe do that. Um. So again, if we go and do this, this is going to... This is going to change some things, but we can always build out. So let's just, enough talking about it, let's just do it now. Okay, we did a lot of work here today. I think we got a good base and structure of uh, where to go. And next time we're going to be looking at episode 2 where I'm actually going to be building this tower now. Um, again, thanks so much guys. Peace. Perfect.